Hamas as a yearly Ghazi, Hassan Pasha, also known as Hassan Pasha of Algiers, was born at some point in 1713, although his place of birth is unknown. He is known to have been brought up as a Georgian slave in western Anatolia by a Turkish merchant from Tekirdag, who raised him in that city, and considered him equal to his own sons. He rose through the ranks of the Ottoman military and was for a time, with the Barbary Coast pirates based in Algiers, capital of modern-day Algeria. He was a fleet commander during the Battle of Chesma, during the Russo-Turkish War of 1768-1774, aboard a ship called the Real Mustafa, and was able to extract the forces under his command from the general disaster that occurred for the Turkish navy there. He arrived at the Ottoman capital with the bad news, and, was praised for his own accomplishment and promoted, first to chief of staff and later to grand vizier. He also managed to dislodge the Russian fleet which had established a base on the Aegean island of Lemnos. Anecdotal evidence says that, immediately after the defeat at Chesma, he and his men were lodged by a local priest in Avalik, who didn't know who they were. Hassan Pasha did not forget the kindness shown at that hour of crisis and later accorded virtual autonomy to the Greek-dominated town of Avalik, which paved the way for its becoming an important cultural center for that community in the Ottoman Empire in the 19th century. The defeat also prompted Pasha to establish the Naval Engineering Golden Horn Shipyard, later Turkish Naval Academy, in 1773. He also, blockaded the city of Akar, in modern-day northern Israel, in the summer of 1775 to check the power of the autonomous Arab ruler of Palestine, Zahir al -Awama. He ordered Zahir to pay 50,000 piastres to relieve the siege, Zahir refused and Hassan Pasha's ships bombarded Acre, but the Ottoman Empire manning Acre's cannons refused Zahir's orders to fire back at the ships and intentionally directed their fire away from Hassan Pasha's naval forces. Their loyalty to the Ottoman Sultan precluded them from firing on his military. Zahir fled, but was killed by Pasha's troops before he could escape. In 1786, Pasha was ordered by the Sultan Abdul Hamid I to take troops to Egypt and drive out the Mamluk emirs led by Ibrahim and Murad Bey, who had become de facto rulers of the province. He arrived in Egypt in early August 1786 and was successful in this campaign, although the Mamluk emirs would regain power after his death, and remained the de facto Ottoman governor of Egypt for around a year. His longtime deputy, Ismail Pasha the Tripolitanian, remained in Egypt and was soon appointed the Ottoman governor of Egypt from 1788 to 1791. In the Russo-Turkish War of 1787-1792, their 74-year-old Pasha commanded the Turkish troops in the early campaigns, taking part in the Battle of Fidnizai, and the Siege of Akakov. He died in Schumann, in modern-day Bulgaria, on March 19, 1790, aged 77, from either illness or poisoning. Today, his statue stands in the Turkish resort town of Chesma.